Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aquarius, June 14, 2022. The benign presence of the powerful star king combined with the superior mental energy of the planet Uranus will be giving you excellent abilities to generate projects or ideas with which you will be able to generate material income through decent and honest work where you will be able to include many people so that everyone will benefit from your excellent ideas. Those ideas that you have expressed and the way in which you have done it will be so effective that you will be able to touch the hearts of the people to whom you have expressed your ideas and feelings since your third house in the sign of Leo with the astrological part of fortune is going to give you the advantage of being very successful in what you want through the way you express things. Your eleventh house, the house of associations and social club friendships, it is above the sign of Pisces and has its ruling planet Neptune within this house. This will provide you with a good connection to community support groups, social service groups or associations of people who seek to improve their spirituality in sensitive senses. So including you in this type of activity will bring you a lot of internal learning and a lot of spiritual satisfaction that money could never buy. Here the interests that are going to be connecting you with that possible partner for you are going to be studies. Well, being someone so hardworking, you know perfectly well that to maintain a high economy you must specialize in your studies and that is where you will possibly find a good partner for you since your seventh house in Scorpio. It tells us about someone who knows how to perfectly manage their emotions and that he has a natural ability to delve into what he proposes and having the connection with Pluto in your ninth house in Capricorn indicates that it will be economic and business issues where you will possibly find your better half. Right now your better half or a close friend needs your support, not a lecture. Let him know that you are available to listen and help him in any way he needs, but don't smother him with too much kindness. He will come to you when he feels ready. Meanwhile, he attends to your physical needs. After all, absence doesn't make one more loving. While your enthusiasm is high your resistance may remain low. Be careful during this busy day. You have a tendency to exaggerate everything, you attend many parties and go shopping until the stores close. Now your social life is going at full speed, but you will have to give yourself time to rest if you want to be able to enjoy yourself. You will be very happy and enjoying the beauty and sensory activities that take place from your fifth house in the sign of Libra that connect with your ruler Venus in the second house in the sign of Gemini, this tells us that the economy and your happiness go hand in hand and love can come from business associations or friendships with whom you can generate some source of work. Today you will have a cheerful and mischievous mood. You'll be a bit giddy from laughing all day. You will have a great time with friends and family. Your sense of humor will inspire you to tell jokes, be careful, some of them will bring you problems. Don't be too mean, even if you feel tempted. You don't want to upset your loved ones. Mars in his fall from the sign of Cancer in your third house that connects with your sixth house through the sign of Scorpio. It clearly tells us that if you don't say what you feel properly, you are going to be having many internal problems on an emotional level that could turn into an illness, because the origins of illnesses are usually mental or emotional and if you don't say what you feel you could be affecting your throat. Express what you have inside in the best way because releasing it aggressively and abruptly can also bring you bad consequences. Today, you will start a project that you have been waiting for a long time. It can be related to your profession or be personal, but either way, it will push you in the desired direction. The only negative aspect is that you will be too demanding of yourself and very critical of what you have achieved to have this opportunity. Try to be objective and look at your own merits the same way you would look at someone else's. You will have to be very cautious and careful not to be rude and contemptuous with the people around you in your work because your sixth house in the sign of Scorpio is going to have a quite toxic tint due to its ruling planet Mars, it is in the third house in the sign of Cancer where it is in a very bad aspect. This can cause you to be very rude, angry, moody and violent in the worst case with the people you live with in your daily work. Therefore take good care of this and maintain peace in your being for your own good, for that of others and for your health. Today your day will go by quickly, 
it will be easy for you to finish work in time to return home to enjoy a night of fun. Maybe you're in the mood to meet up with old friends you haven't seen in a while. Or you may decide to check out a different club or restaurant that is off the beaten track. This will be a good night to do something different and introduce new energy to your routine. Make the most of the internet in an effective way to be able to advertise and attract more customers. Remember that a good publication with a nice and striking design, good music and content with simple and clear language will be much more useful than walking down the street handing out flyers or hiring radio spots. This advice gives you Venus, the Moon and Mercury from the sign of Gemini in your second house. Today you will have your imagination and intuition at its peak. Trust your hunches, especially when it comes to money or new projects. Intuitions will haunt your consciousness, but you will need to meditate deeply to understand their message. To achieve this, discard logical thinking, it is better to let the ideas arise alone. Then use logic to decide what to do with them. Our eyes in the sky. The moon links up with Uranus tonight, and the energy is still sociable, but it's more suggestive of old times and memories. It's a great night for a small gathering around the fire pit to recap your group's greatest hits. Intuition is strong, but the emotional intensity could cloud your judgment. If you're under work or other pressure and unable to socialize, you could experience some mood swings. Just try not to behave in a way you might come to regret later. Why do we allow emotions like guilt or shame to isolate us? Yes, our past is unique. No one else has the same lens on reality because no one else has lived identical experiences. Yet, while our history might be our own, we can still find relatable ways of sharing our stories with others to inspire communion, compassion, admiration, and respect. Fortune might land in our laps. Although luck appears randomly, it is the result of good karma gathered from previous deeds. Enjoy this magical moment. Mid-afternoon, the moon aligns with Neptune, continuing the day's dreamy vibe. At best, this aspect will bring out our compassionate side. At worst, it can find us becoming lost in illusion. When Pallas aligns with Chiron, we perceive the magnitude of this truth. Pain, although uniquely experienced, is universally understood. The gulf we perceive between ourselves and others is not as wide as we believe. The patterning of our wounds becomes defined during this transit, and our strategic approach to healing empowers us while inspiring those around us to resolve their own pain. Are we keeping organized? Are we being mindful of the details? However, Mercury in opposition scrambles our ability to express ourselves. We forget the minutiae, and our interactions become laden with misunderstandings. Frustration is the result of this cosmic clash, so give the time-sensitive deeds on your to-do list a bit of extra padding and prepare for one or two awkward conversations.